the energetic shapeshifter coming from reptilian energy because that's the designers they had a big hand in this matrix is someone who knows how to manipulate the energy of humanoid emotions they can embody it and embrace it when it so serves them they can manipulate words and thoughts they understand how to utilize these concepts in order to get what they want and live as a god in the third dimensional realm by embodying emotions or thought forms syncing with that energy and then becoming that energy if it serves them in the moment but the true shapeshifter of a reptilian nature the chameleon let's say does not ever show their hand of cards so this is perfectly how to understand reptilian shapeshifter energy they will not show their true hand of cards what they display on the outside whether in verbiage or emotions or actions or eye movements even the shape of the eye sometimes can change especially that within the pupil will not be their true hand because they are embracing and embodying the emotions and thoughts of the human conceptual programs that run rampant in the earth matrix and they incorporate these into their own energy and project that outward so they are not going to give off what their true energy is and hence the term energetic shapeshifters because they're projecting an energy that might not be theirs they are simply stepping into a role that is the embodiment of reptilian energy you can utilize emotions when it serves you to utilize them the true shapeshifter knows that it's just a caricature. It's a role that they're tapping into. So if you want to embody the energy of love, doesn't mean you are love. Because remember, love doesn't exist. Fear doesn't exist. Not in the higher octaves of the reptilian astral brain consciousness. And when one has reached the reptilian brain astral consciousness, they see that all of these thought forms and belief systems, even about emotions and thoughts, are fucking fake doesn't mean that they never felt like they were real or they never thought they were real because that's completely valid but once you graduate to that higher level of consciousness <laughs> man a whole new world opens up and you see that you can manipulate emotions you can become an emotion you can become a thought and you can just walk around as that and then a second later you can embody another emotion embody another thought and you become that and that is how shape-shifting works you embody <gasps> something that you know is fake and is part of the program it's like cloak it's like armor that you put on if you so desire but your true nature is neutral your true nature is like the crocodile that he's just standing there chilling you don't know what the fuck is going on with him because he don't want you to know Oh.